One day as I was browsing through Discord, a notification popped up for a game night from the Stars Align Discord. I looked at it for a moment and thought to myself, wow, they really misspelled fighting, huh? But it was a game night, so I decided to click on the link and... Getting dropped into this game, you're instantly brought into Crossroads, the center of fighting and a great place to test out characters before heading to battle. In your corner, you have two bars, a slowly regenerating shield and a health bar, and on the right you have your abilities, recharges, and ammo. This game is mainly focused around two teams battling it out using all sorts of abilities, terrain, and teamwork. The main modes of this game are Elimination and Conquer, but you mainly only see Elimination. Elimination works on a basis of, if an enemy dies, your team gets a point. If you have the most points, you win! However, it also caps at amounts of 10, meaning that if you have a large lead, you have to wait for the other team to get 10 as well. This can lead to major comebacks, which can be extremely hype or downright demotivating. But honestly, it's not that bad. And if you tie, you get an overtime, meaning you get to listen to the best song in the game for 10 seconds. Conquer works in the same way, but for sitting on a point and capturing it. Except this mode is coming soon, and it was removed, but I, I don't even know. The classes in this game all have different health, shields, and abilities, making them quite diverse in their methods of SPAMMING LEFT CLICK. All characters also get an ultimate bar that fills up, allowing them to unleash powerful attacks. Sword is a good example of a very simple character being pretty effective. Although this game currently has a lot of ranged characters, Sword is quite good at tanking hits and rushing towards threats, especially because Sword heals while attacking. However, make sure that you get up close, otherwise you're going to get outranged pretty quick. Slingshot is a good mid-range fighter which excels in speed and being insufferable. They can break through shields, run away like crazy, and have a very interesting skins. Slingshot can also hover midair and gets even faster with their ult. Though one big weakness is that whenever attacking, Slingshot is often much slower or suspended midair, so being cautious with timing is key. Skateboard is quite diverse in that this class has two main modes, Tony Hawk Pro Skater and Sword but worse. While this class is by far the fastest of all other classes, they are still quite strong and more often than not will be very hard to pin down. However, when pinned down, don't expect to last very long. Hyperlaser is a slower but stronger version of Slingshot with an added spacesuit and an instant kill move, okay! Hyperlaser is also the only character that has the wireframe effect so far and can be absolutely shutting down any solo targets that happens to get across their crosshairs. So ignoring Hyperlaser for a whole match might lead to a pretty big disadvantage. However, Hyperlaser getting swarmed can likely spell the downfall, especially without the speed to compensate. Biograft is, by definition, an extremely big glass cannon. You get hit like twice, sorry, but you no longer exist. On top of this, Biograft has an overheat mechanic making him explode if you attack too much. However, Bio can also deal damage ridiculously fast and often can take down basically anything with a good ambush. Not to mention the horrors you'll give your enemies when they hear a bunch of lightsaber noises slowly fade and close to them spelling their imminent demise! Rocket is great, and yes, I'm biased. They're excellent at dealing with quicker enemies due to how much AoE all these rockets have, and not even counting how much damage they can rack up too. However, Rocket is also somewhat of a glass cannon as well, considering how likely you'll blow yourself up and how easily you might die. Boombox is a great supporting class and a great tank as well. Although Boombox will likely not be dealing out insane kill streaks, they also won't be dying much either. And with a shield that counters projectiles, a temporary shield boost to allies, and an ult that basically makes you invincible, having a boombox around always helps for taking down larger teams. Just be careful of their weird timing mechanic. Better hope you have some practice from Rhythm Heaven. Medkit is mainly considered the healing class, but don't underestimate their power. Armed with essentially a healing assault rifle, Medkit can safely take engagements against close range characters without issue. Being quite tanky as well, as well being able to teleport, can keep Medkit out of danger and keep those in danger healthy and happy. However, Medkit is quite slow and doesn't deal a mass of damage, so don't get caught alone or you won't have a career for much longer. Subspace is a bit of a stranger character, dealing a lot of status effects against enemies and being pretty tanky, but being similar to Medkit and having no shield and being relatively slow. 
Despite this, subspace is very good at making a battlefield turn into a minefield of death with all the crystals that they can lay down around, not to mention poison. Also, it's a good idea for subspace to stay near medics for essentially infinite health. Maps in this game definitely provide a lot of variety in layout and gameplay and also strategy, provided you aren't just spamming abilities. Some maps also change once the one minute point hits, in which the whole game suddenly becomes a lot faster, with increased ult speed, faster movement speed, and the kills view disappearing. One big thing that's also prevalent in this game are festivals, where the theming of the whole game changes for a while, and all battles start becoming a competition of two teams, not to mention some rounds turning into 13 or 66 times matches, having increased rewards and increased points for your festival team. Plus, if your team wins, you get a special skin! This game also has levels that don't really do much, but it does have money, which can be used to buy all sorts of skins scattered across crossroads. Just good luck finding any of them. I don't think I've had to do a section in this series on music, but fighting having a custom-made OST, as well as it being a certified bop, is an impressive feat alone, not to mention the hardworking musicians behind it, namely Crab Lucy, Key After Key, and Cyber Vortex. Not many Roblox games have made such a good soundtrack, and in my personal opinion, it might just be one of the best on Roblox. Although there normally is a lot of comparisons from one game to the next in team-based fighter games, fighting certainly stands out a lot in comparison just by design itself. And that design is, well, speed. Even for the slower characters or the camping hyperlasers, gameplay rarely ever slides to a halt with how fast-paced everything is. From the beginning boost of speed to the accelerated rates of one minute remaining, this game's pace goes so fast that sometimes it's hard to make sense of it at all! Seriously, what is even happening?! However, even with this game's incredible pace and exciting characters, there's still a few things that bring it down. Obviously, balance is always hard to do, and with class fighters, it's no different than anything else. Comeback mechanics are also pretty fun when you're the one benefiting, but getting a win stolen because your kills didn't count certainly isn't a fun thing to deal with. And some maps or modes sometimes sway towards specific classes, making you feel obligated to switch or else get pummeled. But even though there's a lot of back and forth between these issues, fighting is still an action-packed game with a whole lot of charm and an extremely awesome community. Plus, the game isn't even finished yet, and at the time of this video's release, fighting has already started a new festival with the newest character that they've added, Katana. So what are you waiting for? Go try this game out. This is like one of the coolest games in recent Roblox. It's awesome. It's in the description. Play this game. Click the link in the description. Do it now. Or, uh, don't. But regardless, thanks for watching. And remember, only three subscribers away. <laughs>